<laughs> I'm Helen Petman and I'm the coordinator for Evington in Bloom so it's just a matter of um, talking to all different people that are volunteers and there's quite a lot of them and making sure we pull it all together for today. <laughs> Hello, my name is Harry or Harkesh. Um, I'm a co opted trustee of the Friends of Evington and uh, I've been helping to volunteer with the uh, Evington in Bloom as well. And I also help Helen with the Evington Echo. So, thoroughly involved in Evington. I'm delighted to be here. It's been a great run up to this wonderful, special day. And um, I'm looking forward to meeting uh, lots of people who've been involved in Evington in Bloom. Yeah. Understand. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you yeah, Thank you. I'll pass that on. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, I'll be later. Yeah. That's good. Right, so I'll see you again at the park at 11 14. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Yeah. I don't think they ever stopped. 
Certainly in this old area you can see what we mean because it does cover all the
understand what the range is. Yeah. Thankfully, there's more and more moving towards keeping things fairly wide. Yes. Hopefully you can get away with not money quite so much. Yeah. Hey, it's hollow. 
that's what it might have looked like. A while ago, there was a flow of water going around with My name is Stephen Dando and I'm an East Midlands in Bloom judge uh, and we're having a look round uh, today at uh, uh, Evington. Um, one of the uh, in Bloom scheme is uh, a national scheme and uh, the first phase of it uh, is uh, it, uh, dedicated to the regions and so in, in this region we're looking at a, a number of, of areas. Uh, and, and the successful one, the one that gets the most points, uh, uh, in terms of getting a gold award and points, get, then will they go on to represent this region in the national competition in the following year. The, the main thing is to encourage community uh, development and also uh, through, through horticulture. Because horticulture is a great leveller, it's a great thing to, to get people working together. Uh, it's something that everybody can do and, and every part of the community can, can do. So it's, it's all about community development uh, through, through horticulture. I enjoy actually meeting uh, the enthusiasts uh, uh, around the uh, counties. Uh, it's absolutely wonderful to see what people actually do. You know, it's, it, it always amazes me how much time and effort uh, um, uh, that they actually put into to these events and the pride they have in their particular uh, locality. It's wonderful. Of course, we're here today um, entering ourselves into, as Evington in Bloom, into the In Bloom uh, competition. And this has been something that is a national comp competition, but of course, we're here entering it from the ground up. And what gives us our focus, of course, is the fact that we are judged. And that I'm delighted that we've got judges here, um, Stephen and Irene here with us, um, who've been spending the morning, I'm told, seeing the beautiful things that have been created uh, from the sheer hard work of your hands and all of the neighbours and all of the community coming together and coordinating us into a beautiful place 
ready to be judged. And I know that you would have seen some of the wonderful things that we have uh, on show. And of course, we've been, um, for the past two years, I guess, at least... Well, good afternoon, everyone. Um, myself and Stephen came to see your wonderful community today. And we're absolutely delighted and honoured to see all the hard work that you've put in and all the care and the love that you can see has come out in the fruits of your endeavours and we're just overwhelmed I think with what we've seen today and we'd just like to encourage you to keep on the good work you know in all weathers hot cold or whatever and all sorts of challenges that you meet across the way but we've seen some wonderful projects that have come out of nothing out of for me, it, this is a community effort. This is about bringing people together. And it's so good to be part of that. And people like Helen and all the volunteers that go out there, I mean, Harry, uh, Jean, and so many other people giving their time up to go and make sure that the, the, the area looks so beautiful. I, I'm really relieved that it's, it's gone all right. <laughs> um, I was, got a bit worked up about that pigeon. <laughs> That, that was making a mess when we started to talk, <laughs> but uh, we got over that and, and the judges seem to have been very impressed with what they've seen and we hope we've shown them a, a big variety of things that volunteers are doing. Uh, we've got to um, think, uh, if we get bigger, how it, how it should be managed. And who manages, who manages it? it, yes. Well, good luck, and hopefully we'll uh, we'll get a good, a good prize. Is that what you get from it? Well, we're hoping we'll be the best, um, best urban area in in Leicester East. Not Leicester East, no, in the East Midlands. I mean, <laughs> I was going to say the only, <laughs> the only, the only, the only urban only area in Leicester East. East. Yeah. But, so we're there anyway. But, but to get that accolade and, and get it published so that it, it shows a model. I mean, I think the model that the RHS is setting up is, is a good one and it, it shows other people that they can copy it too.